Night vision binoculars used to be super expensive and only professionals like the military or law enforcement could afford them. But prices have come down in recent years and now night vision gadgets are available to the average consumer. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the digital night vision binoculars NV009 from Apexel. These binoculars are one of the more affordable options on the market and they're perfect for anyone who wants to try night vision without spending a fortune. But before we dive in, let's check out what's in the box. And here we got instruction manuals, a cloth for cleaning the lenses and the display, a USB charging cable, shoulder strap, a micro SD storage card with 32 gigabytes of capacity and the binoculars themselves. The binoculars are actually smaller than I expected, which is awesome. They're more compact and portable, which is great for taking them on the go. At one end, there's LED display. On the other side, there's an optical lens and the infrared transmitter and receiver. The binoculars have an internal battery, so you don't have to worry about carrying around spur batteries. On the side, there's a USB-C port for charging the battery, a reset button to clear all the user settings and a slot for the micro SD card. Let's pop that in there now. The card needs to be formatted in F8032 file system before you can use it with these binoculars. I tried to format it to XF80 file system, but the binoculars reformatted it back to F8032. That's a little weird, but whatever. Let's take a closer look at the binoculars. At the top of the unit, we got a few rubber buttons, a power button which also serves as the OK button when you're navigating the menu. Vision mode lets you switch between day vision and two infrared night vision modes. There's a photo video mode switch. The M button which takes you to the menu where you can adjust the time, date and quality of the captured footage. These two buttons here controls the digital zoom. Here's the manual focus ring. And there's a tripod mount hole. This is useful for keeping the binoculars steady. Everything looks pretty straightforward. All right, let's turn these bad boys on and see if they work. These binoculars can record in HD, 2K and 4K. They also have electronic image stabilization, which we'll test out in a bit. We're in Spain now and my wife took the binoculars to the beach to record some daylight footage and test out the magnification level. The binoculars, according to the manufacturer, should be able to handle any light conditions, day or night. We tried the binoculars in daylight first to see how good the image quality and zoom are. The image is a bit shaky, especially when using the maximum 5 times digital zoom. Note that there's only manual focus, so you have to adjust the focus ring manually to get the right sharpness on the objects you're looking at. There's an image stabilization feature in the menu which definitely reduces some shakiness but it might add some digital artifacts. I suggest you play around with it to see what works best for you. If the image is shaky you can also mount the binoculars on a tripod. There's a dedicated screw hole at the bottom and it's a standard mount for any tripod, big or small. I tried this on a balcony of my hotel room and the results were good. The recorded image is fine, there will be still some level of shakiness because of the high magnification and the digital zoom adds some little distortion which isn't too bad to be honest. The binoculars have a day mode and two night modes which you can switch between with the button at the top. The night vision range is pretty good. These are not completely pitch black conditions, but I'm showing you this because the binoculars have flash protection. This means if you accidentally look in a night vision at a light source, you won't be blinded as your vision adjusts to the light. We're at the same beach as before and the phone can't see anything. Here's a bit of comparison. We can zoom in a bit. I'm happy with the results. What do you think? Now let's try it in a complete darkness. I'm back in the UK, we're close to the ruins of Flint Castle in North Wales. It's not very light here and the sky is cloudy so it's basically pitch black conditions. 
everything looks fine, we can switch between the two infrared modes to achieve different results. The image gets a bit grainy, but the quality and the range are still good. With 815 nanometers infrared light and 3 watts of power, the MV009 delivers some nice footage even in complete darkness, allowing me to see further and clearer than ever before. Right, let's compare it to a special phone with the night vision built in. The difference is obvious, the binoculars have a long distance viewing capabilities, Featuring a 50mm long focus lens and 5 times digital zoom, the NV009 lets you capture distant objects with nice clarity and detail, making it perfect for hunting or wildlife observation. The phone has much shorter range, so it's not really comparable. The range of the infrared is outstanding. If you compare it to a phone with the night vision, the difference in visibility range is huge, and the quality is also much better. I'm really impressed with this gadget, it's perfect for anyone who wants to see in the dark, like myself. You can check it out on Amazon using the links in the video description or scan the QR code that's popping up on the screen right now. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.